Hello everyone, it is I, Dark Symphony 777 with another video. As always, leave a uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, click on that bell for notifications. I almost said, uh, I'll be leaving a link in the comments in the, oh, the description. And so, I know it's kind of weird, but recently I found out I won a contest. The contest is, I won... Several cans of Mountain Dew Baja Deep Dive. So, believe you don't know, I'm a big fan of Mountain Dew. It is my favorite drink, my favorite soda, and I always try to at least try any flavor that comes out at least once to see if I like it or not. And I like many, many flavors over the long, long time of drinking Mountain Dew. I like the original. I, I kind of tolerated the diet. I love... Uh, Code Red is my favorite soda. Uh, Baja Blast I liked. Live Wire. But if I have uh, the few times I went up to Northern Florida, I actually got that and grabbed it. Hey, give me a favor. Next time you go up north, get me a get me a Live Wire. I'll try. All right. I'm actually with my friend right now. Hello. Uh, hello. He says hi. So, however, for this specific contest, the uh, this deep uh, Baja deep dive. It was actually part of a contest called the 100 Days of Baja. So how did this contest work is you would have to buy uh, three specific bottles. You'd get the bottle of Baja Blast, which I like, Baja Gold, which is a pineapple soda, which I, I really liked, and then Baja Mango Jam, which I really, really liked. It's actually my favorite of the Bajas. And you have to go on a website that leads you to a code, and, you, and, using all, and you have to type in the three codes of those sodas and so every three you get you actually get a ticket to try and win this specific soda so i and i just found out today from my friend's landlady because i ordered it to this place and i didn't want anything bad to happen to my other family it's not exactly nice people i got the box and here it is baja deep dive so this video is gonna be me Opening this, giving my impressions of it, to see if it's as good as a mystery flavor it is, because it's a mystery flavor. And also, give a little update on the future of the channel and, and any these couple of videos I have planned. I also read this. Let's read this first. Uh, from the depths of, of the Baja Sea, just when you thought Mountain Dew, Baja Blast, couldn't get any better. We discovered a new treasure of Baja Island. Baja Dew. <laughs> Mountain Dew Baja Deep Dive. This ultra-exclusive flavor is not for the faint of heart. It's dirt squishing secrets are a mystery, and you are one of the select few to discover it. We know you'll love it. Share your view on social and tag Mountain Dew with Transfer Baja Blast. I'm not going to do that because I don't use Twitter and stuff like that. Good so, maybe they might find it on YouTube. I don't know. Maybe, maybe. So, I got six cans. I'm giving one to my friend. I'm keeping, I'm keeping the other five. I'm going to keep one forever because. Oh, come on. I didn't. I honestly didn't think I would ever actually win this. So I think, for simplicity's sake, I'm going to keep one can. Never drink it. So, you ready? Ready. One, two, two three. three. Oh, I swear to God, it's not. I better. I hope it's not grape. It, uh, smell, it smells slightly grapey. I'm smelling it, too. Mm, I mean, this would be, if it's grape, this would be, what, the fifth grape flavor? Because he had the original, you had the original uh, pitch black. You uh -huh. had the second pitch black, which is a sour grape. Uh huh. Then you had the the when they when they brought back the pitch black, they did the recipe, and then violet from Japan. Hmm. Mm. I hang on. How do I? No, it doesn't taste like grape at all. No, it doesn't. That's like it. I'm thinking it might. I'm thinking it might be plum. I never tasted plum, but it does taste like something I never tasted before. Could be. Yeah, it does have a slightly tangy end to it. A slightly tangy tanginess to it. It's really good. It is. It's really good. I don't want this. Is an amazing flavor. I'm lucky. I won this. I'm lucky. Yeah. So lucky. 
Once in a lifetime chance right there. Once in a lifetime chance. So, now that we got out of the way, let me drink some more. <laughs> I do have some updates on a couple of videos I plan on doing. The first one, first and foremost, is a introspection of the Mole Saboteur's Island. Uh, I did, I did the introspection on Trader Abroad over a year ago, and I'm happy that I'm finally going to be working on this one. For those of you who know, uh, the Mole Saboteur's Island is a sequel to the Mole Trader Abroad. It is a type, it is a story written by Chris Ectors, and it is one of those stories that are that is a fan fiction that is based off a reality game show, i.e., the Mole. I'll explain. I'll explain uh, about what the Mole is. In that video, as a refresher, past that, I gotta finish Double Survivor. Did you know Double Survivor Overclock had multiple endings? Does it? Yeah, I found out literally at the end of day six. Oh. But it's like you either choose Nalia or you choose Yuzu. It's like, and on the last video, it's like, uh, is this, does this have multiple endings? And I realized it does have multiple endings, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. That's gonna be real. That's gonna be stinky. Now, because now I don't know how long the game's gonna go. The Let's Play is going to go for that game. Then mm -hmm. after that, I got to do Mass Effect. That's why I bought Mass Effect on Steam. As well as other fan fictions, I got a new Super Koopalings story, Tiny Bowser. Um, I'm pretty sure Total Drama Everything. Either, uh, everything? No, not everything. Total Drama Everything 2. Either, it's either Infinite or Everything. <coughs> uh, excuse me. This may be gassy. Or it could be the Doritos. Maybe that. Uh, Is it Drama... really that carbonated, actually? It's not. Think about it. It's not. Uh, Total Drama Everything 2 by Meme King. That's going to be... Once that's done, I'm going to pull that. And finally, I got uh, the Paper Chopper Trilogy. That is a fan fiction that I've been honestly dying to rip apart. Seriously. There's a reason I put the main character at the bottom of the tier list. Because it's supposed to be spoiling... That story and showcasing how bad that story is because trust me, I'm gonna be completely tearing uh, Paper Chopper apart. That story deserves it. I can't wait to talk about it. And that's it. So, um, um, before we end, do you have any guesses on what the sliver is, my friend? My friend, uh, from the mother. <laughs> If you, had to say, if you had to say yes, it's very different. It's very difficult to try and piece what exactly this is. I can't really say. It's it is a rather tangy flavor, but I I, I can't really pin down what exactly. I'm it's still going to trim my budget and say it's plum. Because I'm going because. I know plum has like a, very, a somewhat similar smell to grapes. It's, yeah, it's kind of it's kind of the same genus. So I'm I'm just I'm hedging my bets. I'm gonna say it's plum. Maybe if you have, if anyone's ever tried this, maybe you can look it up, or I'll probably look it up after this video is uploaded. I'm actually rather curious if people have already started speculating, or if someone has managed to figure it out. I mean, I can look it up right now, but I'll do that after this video ends. So. I thank you, all my fellow readers. I can't wait to get started on Paper Chop, uh, Paper Chopper, and the Mole and Super Koopalings. I will see you next time. This has been Dark Symphony Seven Seven Seven, and thank you. <laughs>